Hello, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hope everyone is doing well. Looks like we have 19 of us so far this morning. Just a quick reminder, yesterday we created a video in our new groups. These are going to be our groups for our second performance task for Unit 2. If you haven't done so already, there's still a few of you, a couple of groups, that have not uploaded your video from yesterday's recording to Week 7. The uh, Remember that we should... Uh, when you finish with your recorded meeting, download it onto a computer and then upload the file to a folder. All right. In this case, yesterday, since we are um, in week seven, we should have a folder under week seven. And that video file that you created yesterday, that should be in that folder. Okay. So there are a couple of groups. If I remember correctly, group three, maybe. I rem um, and maybe group 11, I'm not sure, but I did leave a message in your group, so uh, maybe check and again, make sure that you have uploaded your video from yesterday to your week seven folder. Alrighty, today, 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 what I'd like to do, and I'm going to give you all class to do this activity couple of, about a week ago, actually, we created, let me share my screen. I think it was about a week ago, maybe even longer than a week ago. Under files, we created a, an Excel spreadsheet for tongue twisters. And all of you were asked to upload a tongue twister and include the lyrics, include the title, maybe even a link where someone can find someone else reciting the, the tongue twister. Today we're going to focus on our tongue twisters. We're going to do an activity for our tongue twisters. This is an activity to practice pronunciation, articulation, right? And trying to really spit out these words as they say, right? These are difficult uh, words. Uh, tongue twisters are really difficult, right? And so today we're going to focus on doing tongue twisters. So what I'd like to do is present the flip grid because today we're going to work in our flip grids. And in the Flipgrid, I've included instructions in the form of a video within the Flipgrid. So I would like for you to watch the video first and listen to or listen for the instructions. All right. So this is also kind of a, a listening exercise. Of course, you can play the video however many times as you wish. But the instructions are in the video. So let me include the link to the Flipgrid. Now, like all Flipgrids, the first time you go into the Flipgrid, the address includes the join key, right? So it looks like the join key here is 7AFEBFC6, okay? So that will be the join key that you'll need the first time that you enter into the uh, Flipgrid, just as we've done in the past. So I'm going to give everybody all class to complete this activity. There are several steps, several different things that you need to complete for the, um, for, for the uh, activity. All right, so go ahead and watch the video. Try to follow the instructions. Of course, I'm going to be online to answer any questions that you have. Uh, for those groups that have not uploaded the video, please uh, also do that sometime today, hopefully in class, so that I can finish the video uh, of yesterday's class and uh, upload that so that you have that available. All right, but today we're going to focus only on the tongue twisters. So let's go ahead and begin the activity. 
please watch the instructions first. And then if you have questions about what you need to do, uh, please just jump in and ask. Unmute your microphone. I'll be here uh, listening for your, your instructions or your questions. And if you, uh, you want to send me a, a message, of course, uh, you can do that. All righty. So let's go ahead and uh, begin this activity. Are there any questions uh, about what we're going to do today or yesterday's assignment, uh, uploading our videos or creating our, our videos and uploading it to our folders? No, teacher. Okay, teacher. No, teacher. All right, guys, let's go ahead then and uh, begin uh, this activity. Again, please follow the instructions first. Watch the video uh, and follow the instructions as described there first before you begin uh, the activity. All right, guys, I'll go ahead and mute my mic. And again, jump in if you have any uh, questions. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, go ahead. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Um, I have an ask a question. Sure. Uh, I was um, reviewing the Excel table, and I didn't find my name, but I don't remember I completed before. So what can I do? Go ahead and add, uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's see here. I'm opening up the file here. Let me take another look. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and add your name at the bottom under round one. There are three different sheets, round one, round two, and round three. So in round one, at the bottom below Andrea, uh, Tanya, go ahead and add, uh, add your name, add the information, okay, to your, uh, or about your tongue twister. All right, add your name under round one, and for today, let's see, under under memo, do you see column E labeled memo? Do you see that uh, column, Tanya? Oh, let me open it. Okay. I was just listening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because maybe you told us one day, but I, I didn't do it or I forget it. So, okay. Yeah, sorry. just add add your uh, tongue twister to round one. Yeah, isn't tongue twister? Okay. okay. And there's a column E that's titled memo. All right. Um, basically, well, when you, yeah. Round one. Round one. I'm sorry. It's uh, yeah. Round yeah? one. Okay. Yeah. All right. So under round one, at the very bottom, below Andrea, you can add your information about your tongue twister. Under column yeah. E, and that's called memo. Just uh, choose two of your classmates to respond or you can either your classmates name or or the um or the name of the tongue twister and then just reply to those uh those classmates so for example uh, i'm gonna add my name under andrea padilla yes so i'm gonna put the title of the tongue twister and then uh, put the twister, and then um, in the another column, uh, for example, what or where do I put like the names of the people that I choose to replace their in tongue? in column E? That's called memo. E ah. It, you may have to scroll to the right because depending how wide your screen is might be hard to see but if you go to the very top of the excel spreadsheet and you scroll to the right under column e that's called memo yeah okay here you can just you know put any any information so for what this is what i'll do for anyone who has who's not on this list 
do the same thing under your name. You right, just add yeah. you know each of your tongue twisters, and then what we're gonna do, you're gonna be, you'll do it differently. Um, I'm just gonna ask you guys to choose, you know, two other uh, two other tongue twisters. We're gonna continue this activity later in other days, you know, later in maybe next week or. And we're going to continue. At the end, all of you are going to end up having read all of the tongue twisters. So in your case, I'm just going to ask you to randomly choose, you know, the additional tongue twisters, right? So at the end of the day, you'll still have a chance to read all of the tongue twisters, but... So, teacher... Check. Hello, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hope everyone is doing well. Looks like we have 19 of us so far this morning. Just a quick reminder. Yesterday, we created a video in our new groups. These are going to be our groups for our second performance task for Unit 2. If you haven't done so already... There's still a few of you, a couple of groups that have not uploaded your video from yesterday's recording to week seven. The uh, Remember that we should, uh, when you finish with your recorded meeting, download it onto a computer and then upload the file to a folder. All right, in this case, yesterday, since we are... Um, in week seven, we should have a folder under week seven and that video file that you created yesterday, that should be in that folder. Okay. So there are a couple of groups, if I remember correctly, group three, maybe if I rem um, and maybe group 11, I'm not sure, but I did leave a message in your group. So, uh, maybe check and again, make sure that you have uploaded your video from yesterday to your week seven folder. Alrighty, today, 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 what I'd like to do, and I'm gonna give you all class to do this activity. A Couple of, about a week ago actually, we created, let me share my screen. I think it was about a week ago, maybe even longer than a week ago, under files, we created a, an Excel spreadsheet for tongue twisters. And all of you were asked to upload a tongue twister and include the lyrics, include the title, maybe even a link where someone can find someone else reciting the, the tongue twister. Today, we're going to focus on our tongue twisters. We're going to do an activity for our tongue twisters. This is an activity to practice pronunciation, articulation, right? And trying to really spit out these words, as they say, right? These are difficult uh, words. Uh, tongue twisters are really difficult, right? And so today, we're going to focus on doing tongue twisters. So what I'd like to do is present the flip grid because today we're going to work in our flip grids. And in the flip grid, I've included instructions in the form of a video within the flip grid. So I would like for you to watch the video first and listen to or listen for the instructions. 
All right, so this is also kind of a, a listening exercise. Of course, you can play the video however many times as you wish, but the instructions are in the video. So let me include the link to the flip grid. Now, like all flip grids, the first time you go into the flip grid, the address includes the join key, right? So it looks like the join key here is 7 a f e b f c 6 okay so that will be the join key that you'll need the first time that you enter into the uh, flip grid just as we've done in the past so i'm going to give everybody all class to complete this activity there are several steps several different things that you need to complete for the um for for the uh, activity all right so go ahead and watch the video Try to follow the instructions. Of course, I'm going to be online to answer any questions that you have. Uh, for those groups that have not uploaded the video, please uh, also do that sometime today, hopefully in class, so that I can finish the video uh, of yesterday's class and uh, upload that so that you have that available. All right, but today we're going to focus only on the tongue twisters. So let's go ahead and begin the activity. Please watch the instructions first, and then if you have questions about what you need to do, uh, please just jump in and ask. Unmute your microphone. I'll be here uh, listening for your your instructions or your questions. And if you have, uh, if you want to send me a, a message, of course, uh, you can do that. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and uh, begin this activity. Are there any questions uh, about what we're going to do today or yesterday's assignment uh, uploading our videos or creating our our videos and uploading it to our folders no teacher okay teacher no teacher all right guys let's go ahead then and uh, begin uh, this activity again please follow the instructions first watch the video uh, and follow the instructions as described there first before you begin uh, the activity all right, guys, I'll go ahead and mute my mic, and again, jump in if you have any uh, questions. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, it's 9.40. I've uh, enjoyed a lot uh, going and listening to all of your tongue twisters. Really good job. In some cases, I have left... Uh, a video of feedback in general, though, very good. Um, just a couple of uh, comments uh, for some of yours. Um, as I go through here, just to review, you'll notice that uh, a couple of you, for example, if I go into if one doctor Sigrid's tongue twister, Adan has responded, right? And he's responded using uh, reciting the same tongue twister as uh, Sigrid, right? That's the idea. Uh, to see another example, uh, Maria del Cielo, and good job, uh, Maria. I know you're feeling a little under the weather today. Uh, good effort. Uh, and it looks like um, Maria Fernanda has responded. Okay, so this is the idea. You want to respond to your classmates' tongue twister with your own version of that same tongue twister. Teacher. Yes. Hello to the I'm going to talk. I'm sorry. Because I have to, I have to say the, the tongue twister, very fast because then I will not have like the time to say it three times. Okay, if if the time is a problem, if it's really long, just do the best you can, and if it gets cut off, that's okay. That's our yeah. It's okay. <laughs> just do the best you can. Uh, there's no problem if it gets cut off at the end. Okay. Yeah. Um, also, just for those, let me open up here to show you. Uh, for those of you who have not uploaded, I mean, am I in the right? Yeah. For those of you who have uh, just uploaded your tongue twister today, and today is October 6th, 2020, um, 
what I'm going to ask, it's going to be a little bit different for you guys. I would just ask that you guys add the names of your classmates who you're going to respond to uh, in round two and round three. Uh, because we're going to continue doing these rounds in the future. Um, and so it'll be a little bit different for, I think, uh, Tanya added yours and I think one other uh, person. I don't recall offhand. Um, maybe it was Nancy. Okay, maybe it was Nancy. Nancy and Tanya. I don't see Tanya, Tanya's. I don't know if you're in the class right now, but I don't see your tongue twister. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions, Tanya, or anyone else. Uh, again, if you're just adding your tongue twister, we're, we're going to work a little bit differently for, for you folks. Okay. All right. Uh, but good job, everybody. If you haven't had a chance to complete your tongue twister, please do so for the next class. Wait for your classmates to obviously upload their first tongue twister before you, um, before you add your response, your comment, or your version of the same tongue twister. And what I would do is go ahead and create the video, either on your phone or on your computer, and then you can import videos. Remember in Flipgrid, you can both create a, a video on the fly, so to speak, and or you can import a video that you've already created on your device. So um, that's what I would try to do, and um, we'll wait for everyone else to upload their first video. It looks like we have 22 responses so far. So uh, hopefully those of you who have not had a chance to upload your video will do so soon so that your classmates can respond. The last thing I'll say, guys, um, I went and checked your podcast, and I'm going to ask that everyone go into your podcast folder. I'm going to go into the chat right here and show an example of how I would like for you to name the video file or the audio files of your podcast. All right. So it should look something like, like this. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. How can so many people see our our foot grid? Or is just what well, I don't understand that. Um they are I'm assuming these are public, right? So others can see these flip grids, although they I don't think they can respond. So I think that's what we're seeing is these views are coming from uh from you know from outside of our class. But I wouldn't really worry too much about the the views in terms of you know, for our purposes, it's just a, and a thing that, yeah, I mean, if these are published publicly, then people from outside are going to be able to see the, the videos. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and let me show you one more example here. This is uh, what I'd like everyone to go in and check uh, in your podcast. So title of your episode number two and so on so the only thing differently that i mentioned yesterday than i did today is uh under week zero if you put a zero three zero four instead of just a four but capital w lowercase k zero three that's going to be the week underscore and then the title of your episode four to five words is fine and then the number of your episode. All right, so please go in today, sometime today, and simply rename all of your uh, podcast, all of your audio files in your podcast folder. And this will allow us to sort nicely the uh, all of the episodes within your folder. Obviously, make sure that all of your hyperlinks from the Excel spreadsheet goes to a folder. Okay, I still have, uh, I think, uh, Luis Enrique, I think your, you might want to check your link. Um, make sure that all of your links go directly to a folder, not a file. Okay, that way you don't have to 
change the link every week. It's done and we can leave it for the rest of the semester. All right, guys, I think we'll stop there and uh, tomorrow we'll continue. Uh, we'll continue with doing some other activities. As a reminder, this Friday at 8 o'clock, try to be a few minutes early. Try to arrive to our online class a few minutes before 8 o'clock in the morning because we're going to start uh, at 8 o'clock with a um, with a very a speaking exercise that you're going to get a grade for. And I'm going to ask a question, and I'm going to ask each one of you to respond for one minute. All right, so one minute response, and I'm going to choose at random each of your names. So we're just going to go through the list and ask for a response, a one-minute response to the question. I'm only going to ask the question once at the beginning of the class. So we're just going to go one minute and go through each of, each of you to hear your responses. All right, so it's very important that you arrive a few minutes early on Friday so that you're ready to go so that we can go through as quickly as possible the responses, the one-minute responses, okay? So no longer than one minute, a response will be required to answer uh, the question. All right, so I just wanted to remind everyone, Friday, we'll be doing this activity. It's a little bit different than what we've done before. It's going to be listening to each of your responses, right? So you make sure that your microphone is on. Uh, the video is optional, so you can decide if you want to have your face shown or not, but uh, this will be our activity that we start on on Friday. So I just want to give everyone a heads up for that particular uh, activity. All right, guys, we'll stop there. Uh, thanks and enjoy the rest of your day. I hope things are going well with the other classes. Of course, reach out to me if anyone wants a uh, tutoring session on any of your classes and um, as well as this class, of course. If you have any questions, continue to send me emails via chat in Microsoft Teams. All right, thanks, guys. Have a good day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye.